So when you shop around for credit within a short period of time and allow credit providers to do what is known as hard searches on your profile, it will lower your credit score. In today's video, we'll be discussing credit improvement techniques that can help you improve your financial health. My name is Zola and you are watching The Financial Metaverse. Your credit score plays a vital role in determining your eligibility to qualify for different kinds of loans such as home loans, personal loans, vehicle finance loans and so on. Okay, so before we jump into the techniques, let's begin by understanding the basics of credit scores. So what are credit scores? Well, a credit score is simply a number that is derived by using a formula which simply looks at how well you pay your bills. It is used by credit bureaus based on your historic behavior with debt to look at how likely you are in future to behave with debt in a certain way. Credit bureaus that make this data available to credit providers with your consent, of course, then credit providers use their own internal data and appetite for risk to determine your eligibility to qualify for the particular credit that you are applying for. And of course, the cost at which they are willing to grant you that credit, which is the interest rate. So technically speaking, the higher your credit score, the more likely you are to qualify for debt when you do apply from credit providers and the more favorable the cost will be. However, your credit score is not an exact science. It's simply a guide to credit providers to determine your eligibility for being granted credit. Even if you do have a poor credit, credit providers, if they have a high appetite for giving out credit, will give out the credit. Look at the 2008 subprime crisis, for example, where credit providers lowered their criteria to the rock bottom and were willing to give credit just to about anybody. So at certain times when the appetite is higher, even those with a poor credit score can be granted credit. But when times are tough, as the case is at the moment in most major economies, credit lending criteria are getting tighter and it's becoming more challenging to be granted credit. And therefore, now is the time to really study and understand how to improve your credit score. Because let's face it, in today's economy, getting credit is a major advantage to be able to accelerate the process towards financial freedom. So the first step that you need to take in order to improve your credit score is to obtain your credit report from the major credit bureaus. Globally, there are three major credit bureaus that would be TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. In South Africa, it is TransUnion, Experian, XDX, and CompuScan. Each of these credit bureaus allow you to obtain one free credit report per year. By going to their websites, you can obtain your credit report in order to review the information that is contained in there. Once you've downloaded your free credit report, please check it thoroughly. Make sure all of your details are correct, such as your names, contact details, employment history, residential address, and so forth, because some of these can have a bearing on your credit score, particularly your employment history. If it's recorded that you have zero employment history, meanwhile, you know that you've been working for the past five years, that could have a bearing in terms of your credit score. And also due to the rise in cyber crime, especially identity theft, it becomes imperative in this day and age to check your credit reports regularly, minimum once a year, to make sure that there are no new accounts that have been opened in your name, your identity was not stolen, and certain transactions committed in your name that you know nothing about. And if you do happen to find discrepancies in your credit reports, make sure that you contact the relevant credit bureau and raise the dispute. They will have a process that you need to follow that you will find in their websites. Doing this can have a positive impact impact in terms of your credit score because you will be seen as a person who is responsible who actually wants to make sure that the credit information is in fact correct. Step number two, pay your bills on time. One of the most significant factors that impact your credit score is your payment history. So if you've missed payments or you don't pay on time, this is a major bearing in terms of your credit score. The opposite is true as well. When you do pay your bills on time, it has a major impact in improving that credit score. To make it easier to ensure that you pay your bills on time, set up stop orders or debit orders to enable you to automatically make the payments on time instead of making manual payments to your creditors. And when you know that you're not going to have money or sufficient funds to be able to pay a particular creditor, make sure you communicate in time so that you can make special arrangements. And that again will give confidence to creditors that you're a person that is responsible with credit. The next strategy towards improving your credit score is by reducing your credit utilization. 
Credit utilization refers to the amount of credit that you actually use compared to the credit that you've been granted. If you've been granted 100,000 worth of credit and you've used 80,000 of that credit, that means your credit utilization is at 80%. Now, this is considered extremely high. Ideally, you want to keep your credit utilization ratio below 30%. So if you've got a credit of 100,000, you want to ensure that the credit that you are utilizing is 30,000 and below. Now I know that this can seem very difficult for the average person to achieve. For example, if you've borrowed 100,000 worth of a personal loan, the creditor will pay the whole 100,000 to your bank account and that will mean your credit utilization is at 100%. In fact, it will be higher than 100% because they will add the initiation fees and other fees and so forth which will automatically lower your credit score. So if you are on a mission to improving your credit score, I would not advise taking a personal loan. You should rather look to a credit card or a revolving loan. That at least can allow you to keep your credit utilization at 30% and under because with a revolving loan, if you are granted 100,000, you can utilize only 30,000 and, and less of that loan instead of a personal loan where the whole amount is given to you. Alternatively, you could pay back the personal loan as fast as possible to get that credit utilization ratio below 30%. The next step is to work towards building a positive credit history. I know with the advent of COVID, a lot of people lost their jobs, had their income reduced, lost their businesses, and so it was difficult to be able to make payments on time and actually keep a healthy credit score. But I hope for you, your income is stabilized or is stable and you are now able to build a positive credit history, particularly over the last 24 months, because credit bureaus look at a rolling 24 month period to determine the health of your credit history. So if your credit history has not been so good over the past 24 months, make sure that you make a concerted effort over the next 24 months to check the information in your credit reports, make sure that it's accurate, pay your bills on time, reduce that credit utilization ratio to below 30%. The next step is to manage your debt effectively. Now, if your credit score has taken a knock over the recent past, you need to learn how to manage your debt effectively. Avoid taking debt that is not necessary, especially debt that you use for consumer goods, such as purchasing clothes, electronic goods, and so on. Rather use debt to invest in things that have the potential to increase your income earning ability. Avoid falling into the trap of taking on every debt that is offered by credit providers. I know because right on my banking app, I have offers of pre-approval for personal loans and one month loans and so forth. And it can become so tempting to just accept those offers because I really don't have to do much. I just have to accept the offer and the money is there in my account. But I don't look at those things because I don't need them. But I must say the temptation is there to just use that money. The next step, which is related to what I've just mentioned, is to avoid opening multiple new accounts within a relatively short period of time. This can severely damage your credit score. So when you shop around for credit within a short period of time and allow credit providers to do what is known as hard searches on your profile, it will lower your credit score. A hard search happens when you grant a potential credit provider to check your credit history with a credit bureau. As a general rule, six or more hard searches begin to have a negative impact in your credit score. So your credit report will show you how many hard searches have been made in your profile. So if you've exceeded six hard searches already, Take a pause for now and wait for about 12 months before you apply for any new further credit. And the last strategy is to regularly monitor your credit score. With the rise of cybercrime and identity theft, as I've mentioned earlier, it becomes imperative to check your credit score regularly with the various credit bureaus at least once a year. Make sure the information is correct and make sure that you are implementing the strategies as I've explained them. Remember, improving your credit score takes time and consistent effort. Therefore, if your credit score reflects as poor at the moment, at least you know what you are dealing with. Set a 24-month goal to work consistently to implement these strategies, and I guarantee you, your credit score will improve over time. An excellent credit score can provide significant advantages over time, such as getting favorable interest rates. If you've been watching this video until this point, congratulations. You've now learned valuable credit improvement techniques that can positively influence your financial health. If you found the information contained in this video valuable, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And I recommend you watch these videos.
though you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go go go